When you think of the world's most dangerous bird, as I do sometimes, eagles or vultures may come to your mind. Surprisingly, these awkward cassowaries may cause way more damage than the other, more notorious angry birds I first mentioned. The largest cassowary species may be as tall as an average person and weighing as much. These plump birds can't fly, but neither can you. Plus, they run fast, so don't you try to escape from them. They can reach you even in water since they're great swimmers. They can run as fast as 30 miles per hour, so you might need a getaway car if there's a cassowary who's mad at you. But don't worry, their attacks are quite rare anyways. Mute swans are gorgeous, graceful creatures. At least, that's what we all think. But touching one of these 28-pound birds is a bad idea. They have bony spurs in their wings that they use to take enemies out. Their wingspan is about 8 feet, and they can slap you with all of that. And they also bite. Don't ever get too close to one. They regularly go after humans, especially if the bird has younglings nearby. And don't let the name fool you either, they aren't mute. Swans can hiss loudly and even bark. Good warning signs that you're encroaching a bit too close. Humans and magpies have always had weird, almost love-hate relationships. These medium-sized birdies can be pretty aggressive at times, but if you treat them well, you'll probably become friends. They can recognize human faces, and they're sure to come back to your balcony if you treat them to something yummy. If you offend a magpie, they're gonna remember that too and bear some grudges. So keep an eye on your eye, pardon the pun. Pelicans are symbols of love, and they say they're ready to sacrifice their own life to protect their offspring. Ah, now it's clear why they can swallow the entire prey without even chewing it or tearing it. You just don't want to go near their nest. Sure, you're not a tiny fish and pelican beaks are too small for a human being. But you don't want to be bitten now, do you? Okay, this one's going to frighten you only with its name. A shoebill stork is an impressively large bird, up to 5 feet, just below the average human height. No wonder they can fight a crocodile. Alright, a baby crocodile but they need only their super-powerful jaw to win in one hit. Still not afraid? Well, they make blood-chilling noises, as if you were in some action blockbuster movie. Hmm. If you think these cowardly ostriches don't pose any danger, you got it wrong. Twice! First, they actually don't shove their heads in the sand. It's an optical illusion. And yeah, how are they even supposed to breathe in the sand? Second, these guys are kind of overprotective parents, so if you ever want to approach their young, these heavyweight beasts who can run as fast as a car within city limits are gonna come for you. Not scared yet? Well, you should be. Ostriches are the closest living relatives to T-Rex, together with chickens. What scenes look quite harmless, except for their foul smell, but that's another story. But their babies have notorious wings. The chick's flappers have two distinct claws that are multi-purpose. First, they are a sort of protection against predators. And second, they help them climb trees in case the baby's out of the nest. Once they grow up, the claws disappear just like milk teeth. Size doesn't matter at times. If you were a hummingbird, you'd have to eat almost 300 pounds of food per day to maintain normal weight with that little bird's metabolism. But the lifespan would be way shorter too, only about 3 to 5 years. If you dye your hair, you probably have more in common with a bearded vulture than you might think. We're probably the only two species in the world who use dye on purpose. Vultures dye their feathers with red soil to show their dominance over other birds. People? Well, we just like changes. California condors may not be as large as an aircraft, but they're huge anyways. Their wingspan is almost 10 feet. These are potentially dangerous for people, but chances that you ever meet them are slim. There are only about 200 of them left in the US. Here you are, looking for something yummy in the fridge, but you just can't see what you really want. If you are a bastion thrust, 
you'd break wind at the fridge. Yeah, <laughs> sounds gross, but that's apparently the way these birdies look for hiding worms. They give them a gas attack, so the worms get shocked and yippee! They are now an easy target for a bashing thrush. Hold your nose and bon appetit! Okay, enough of those funky stories. Let's look at the skies. You wouldn't expect a poisonous bird on this list, but alas, I present to you the hooded pitahui. Scientists found out they were poisonous when they kept experiencing numbness and a burning sensation after handling these birds. There are lots of toxins in their feathers, especially on the underside. The birds don't produce toxins themselves. They probably get them from the beetles they eat. Or how about the spur-winged goose? These guys are notorious for being toxic, too. And the toxicity comes from munching on blister beetles. Blech. It's safe to touch them, but eating one can lead to irreversible consequences. Wink, wink. The toxin remains even after cooking. Another bird you don't want to eat is a common quail. Don't mix it up with a Japanese quail, which is usually kept as poultry. Common quails can be really poisonous, leading to even such dreadful consequences as kidney failure. It all depends on the certain plants this bird eats. Good news, it's only poisonous during the migration period, but it's yummy and safe outside the migration. If you're not quite sure, it's better to avoid this one on your plate unless you want some muscle soreness. If you spot a cute, fluffy, snowy owl, you better close your eyes and run. They might look innocent, but in fact, they have razor-sharp talons, which they know perfectly how to use. They point them at the most vulnerable parts, like head, eyes, you got it. Do not mess with a snowy owl. One more species you don't want to contact is the little shrike thrush. Say that a few times fast. Shrike thrush. Just look at this tiny birdie and its innocent eyes. And don't let them fool you. Remember the way they look and never touch them. They're as poisonous as notorious Central and South American dart frogs. Blue-capped Ifrida may be tiny, but it has a toxic mechanism that makes this small birdie invincible. They eat only certain types of beetles that provide this bird with special toxins. Even if you touch it, you'll probably get numb as a result of intoxication. It's inedible since the toxins don't disappear even when it's cooked. Golden eagles are the power lifters in the bird's world. They can carry weights up to 4 pounds. They pick up tortoises and other prey easily. These mighty birds are strong enough to steal a toddler, but they actually never do that. Moreover, in Mongolia, people even use these eagles to hunt wolves. Canada geese have been living close to humans for years, but they're still wary of us getting near their homes, especially in the spring mating season. At this time, the geese can chase and bite people they consider a threat to their eggs, mates, or babies. If you want to avoid being attacked by these seriously angry birds, the best thing you can do is just slowly back away. Romantic seagulls in the sky don't seem to cause many problems. The worst thing they can do is leave you some unwanted droppings. Well, this impression is pretty misleading because these birds are very aggressive. Like all of their kind, they don't attack because they feel like doing so. So the rule is quite simple. Just don't touch those birds and stay away from their nests. Oh, and when the time machine is finally invented, be especially careful with the birds from the past. Velociraptors are long past existing, just like the rest of the dinosaurs. They had talons and feathers, so these guys were actual birds and not scaly lizards. By the way, these are the stiletto sharp talons you should be afraid of. These could cut anything. Beware if you go into the future too, you never know what's waiting for you over there.